what's up YouTube it's your boy Viewmaster617 and I'm here to bring you a video about button configurations I've been getting so many peer messages about people who's using MAME and they're having problems of you know configuring the controls for the games that they want to play and they just don't know how to do it so I'm going to finally show you guys this is not going to be one of the long videos I normally do so I'm going to try and get it done as quick as I can so the first thing you guys are going to do you're going to click tab on your keyboard and then you're going to see all these different types of options now let me just go over a couple of them uh, well the first one that of course you're going to do is um input this game because you don't really need to worry too much everything else now as you can see I have all these different buttons configurations now say if you have multiple people playing at your house and you want to configure their controls they can configure them themselves but they will have to use the keyboard and then they input the buttons to the controllers that they have okay now this now this setup will also work on the people who play MAME online so you MAME online gamers you also um, use this method too when you're controlling your configuration when you're playing online it's the same setup you press tab go to input this game and you'll see this list now I'm going to show you guys how to configure it when you see um, you highlight what function that you want to do like okay I want to change player one start so you're going to highlight that, press enter on the keyboard, press enter on the keyboard, nothing else, not, not on the controller. So you press enter on the keyboard, and then whatever button that you have on your controller, or key, you know, whatever, whatever, um, if you're using a keyboard or controller, you, you're going to press whatever button you want to, what you want to change. So, okay, I want to, I want to make my controller button 9. So it's going to say join button 1 or you can have it different ways like say if you press more you can use more than one button for the same function but I don't want to do that so I'm going to now you press escape to get rid of it to change it back to none then you want to press whatever you want to press so okay my my start button is going to be join button join 1 button 9 on my controller simple easy as that and um now since these are arcade games like I stated in, a, in a, my, one of my other videos it's, it's going to think it needs coins so you're going to go to coin 1 now the default button for that is 5 in case you guys haven't configured your buttons yet it's 5 but you can change it to whatever button you want to do it's the same process you're going to press enter on your keyboard and then you're going to press whatever button that you want it to be so I'm gonna, I want it to be select so my select button is join one button eight. So you guys get it? And you're gonna do the same thing for um if you want to level up your volume for the end games. Now some games won't have this feature, but I know a lot of the Mortal Kombat games have this feature. So you know you do it to whatever preference you want to do it. Um same thing, these are the player one. Now make sure when you configure it that you're the player. So it's player one, make sure you only can. Don't get used, you know, playing with like others that's playing with you. But more or less, more than likely, you're player one. So, you know what I mean? You could be player two or player three or player four. Because I know certain games like the Simpsons games, you want to be first player because first player is Marge, I believe. So you want to play Bart. Then at that point, you make it as if you're player three. So you could configure it to, you know, your control. So, I mean, that's no, no problem either. Alright guys, so that's pretty much controlling, um, configuring your controls. Oh, again, now if you want to return to the game, you hit escape twice after you've done configuring and you're back at the game. Now you're ready to play. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and play a quick, um, show you guys a quick demonstration of Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3. You know, just give you a little quick demonstration. So as you can see the buttons do work, you know, 
just make sure that you pay attention to which player that you're configurating and make sure when if you guys have a hard time going to the configuration mode it's always tab and then input this game to do it alright so just you know give you guys a heads up on that so I hope you guys enjoyed my video once again it's your boy Viewmaster617 uh, let me give my shout outs Home P, The Comfy Gamer Slouch, Straight Up Reviews I made your Mac, the Computer Empire, um, he's known as the Sith Lord of Gaming, uh, who else, um, guy named Game Game Nexus, you know, he's another main gamer, go check out his channel, um, Arcade Cabinet, or Arcade Gamer dude, he's the guy, he create cabinets also. And I'm gonna have a I'm gonna have a big list for you guys of shout outs. I'm gonna do a shout out video sometime soon. I just haven't gotten around to it. So you guys stay up, take care, and I'm out.